Well, continue with Lode. Lode Freeze, the silver medalist in this 800 uh, meter freestyle. Congratulations for the medal, Lode. You have swim in Barcelona really fast, but uh, it's someone named Katie Delerki. Delerki. It's very difficult to, to win her. Yeah, uh, she's an amazing swimmer, and I'm just happy that I, I get to race her. I think she's going to to turn out to be maybe the best long distance swimmer ever in history. Uh, she's very young, and she's doing great, uh, and I'm just happy that that I can be as close to her as I am, if you can call it close. <laughs> you you swim eight sixteen thirty two. That's mm -hmm. your best score in the in this event. No. You fifteen. You have fifteen. Some questions to Lotte Fries. Hello, Vincent from the Eurovision. Lotte, uh, the first 600 you were leading, the first 500 you were even swimming at world record pace. Did you go in too hard, too quick, uh, or was that the game plan? Um, I'm not actually sure. Uh, <laughs> I think the, the plan was just to try and go out. I didn't think I could would be able to, to beat Katie. Uh, so the plan was to get a as big a scap as possible to, uh, to Lauren and uh, Mireya uh, at that point because I know they are have a, normally have a much faster last 400 than I do. Um, so I think the plan was just to try and go out and keep them behind me and then try and see what Katie would do. <laughs> Questions? Here. Well, uh, your performance here is remarkable. Um, in uh, fact, in the in the 1500, in the first uh, 800 meters, you swam faster than you did in London mm -hmm. in, the, in the 800 race. And did you change anything in your training compared to last year? Uh, no, uh, I think I was in the best shape of my life in London. Um, it just didn't go as I planned, so I think the shape from last season I took with me this season. And uh, I think that's just what I've been swimming on, uh, because I moved to I moved from Denmark uh, to France, where I'm training in Nice now. Uh, so that's been great, training uh, with Fabrice Pallon, who's an amazing coach. And uh, he's helped me a lot this season, starting to, to try and believe in myself again, because I lost a lot of faith in uh, myself and self-esteem uh, in London, so it's been great training with him and, uh, and his group. Uh, Kieran from the FP. Uh, the Denmark female summer seems to be having a, a great meet. Is there, is there any particular reason behind that? Um, I think we wanted to show that we're better than what we did in London. Uh, in London we expected to come out of the competition with a medal uh, or two. Um, I think we're just trying to show that Denmark is still a force to be reckoned with. And uh, don't forget us just because we are small nations. Because we, really, we really want to win and we really want to do great. Uh, so I think that's just what what you guys have seen, because I remember we all was in really good shape uh, in London, but we just didn't have the, the luck with us there, if you can say it like that. <laughs> Here, you're really No questions? Keith is coming. There's another more questions. Let's start. Uh, yes, uh, thanks a lot. Uh, she's asking to, to leave a little bit. Um, well, congratulations for the fifth uh, time here, KT. Well, you are the queen of the long distances here in Barcelona, and right now, with a world new world record of distance. Well, what are your sensations, your feelings right now? I'm thrilled. I exceeded my expectations for this year. Uh, the goal my coach Bruce Campbell and I set at the beginning of the year uh, was three medals and one world record. And uh, so I got four and two world records. So um, I'm just thrilled. I can't. I can't uh, be upset. I'm. I'm extremely happy. Sure. Yes. Hello, Vincent Hi. from Eurovision. Um, 
the result in this race is exactly the same as the 1500, same one, two, and three. Uh, how similar are these two races? Uh, they're pretty different. Uh, one's half the other, so. Um, I just carried my momentum from the mile and the 400 and the relay into my last night here and um, just was able to lay it all out tonight as my last race. So uh, definitely just wanted to end on a great note. You have questions? Two questions. First, yeah. Katie, Thank congratulations. You. Thank you. Amazing swims. Thanks. You know, some people have it in them, this truly competitive, uh, for lack of a better phrase, I mean this in the most totally complimentary way, cold-blooded, competitive winning instinct. Where, where does it come from? Uh, I think I've always had it. Um, just right when I started swimming, I just loved it. And uh, when you love it, you want to do well. And uh, you compete with your teammates and practice. I have great teammates back home that push me every day and um, you compete with them every day and so when you get to meet it's nothing new and uh, you just compete against the girls next to you and uh, that's what swimming's all about, competing and having fun and getting up and racing. Uh, compared to London, uh, it seems to be that you, that you started a little bit slower in the first half of the race today and uh, you, know, um, you did I think four six in the first uh, four hundred and four seven the less and in London you 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 did four ten in the in the, in the, the first four hundred uh, sorry four four four, 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 four and four ten yeah. and it was it part of your strategy you know have you discovered the secret of the of the, the, the race? Um, I knew it was going to be a tough race and I knew Lottie was going to be right in it so. Um, I just had to be patient up front, which I'm not always very good at. And um, so I just stayed patient and then tried to push the last 200 as hard as I could and uh, break away. So um, I think that's definitely something I did a lot better this year um, or this week than I've ever done in the past is staying, staying patient. I'm usually really excited and sort of spin my wheels up front um, and never am really able to close hard. So. I've definitely put in the training to be able to finish hard and uh, swim well at the end, so um, it was just a matter of staying patient and knowing what I could do. Here, Matthew. Katie, you, you were excellent in the, the 4x200 relay as well. Would you ever consider going down to, to swim the 200 individual? Yes, um, I qualified for the 200 here actually, but I scratched it because um, the schedule didn't work out well with the mile and um, it just would have been too much and um, we'll see how the schedule works out in the coming years but hopefully I'll be able to sum the 200 um, at some point but really this year I was just happy to be on the relay and uh, do well for Team USA there. There, there, you. Hi, Katie. Hi. Congratulations. How do you manage to to swim as uh, consistently underwater uh, on each turn after doing 700 and a half minutes? Um, just the training. It, it really prepared. I've prepared for this week for this whole year, so um, I knew I had to be consistent and be able to race every day and. Uh, to not get tired by the end of the week, so um, definitely just a lot of consistency in training, and um, I think I've been pretty consistent uh, my whole career of swimming um, in training, so uh, just being able to get ready for this week and doing the best I could was the main, main key. Super easy question, Katie. You said you prepared for uh, one world record and three medals. Oh, that's what you were hoping for? I yeah, that was, that was the goal that we set. At so the end of the which of the races? The 15? Uh, no, we didn't say any races in particular. It was just, just three. And, I mean, it, there, were, there could have been a lot of overlap, you know. Um, I mean, one of the medals could have been the relay. Um, and we never said uh, gold, silver, or bronze. It was just three medals. 
um, any of them. It wasn't, we, we never pinpoint things like that. I never want to do that, so I put pressure on myself, so I just uh, go out and give it all I have in every race. Right, again. Um, when you saw Lotto go out that strong in the beginning, were you worried at any stage? Uh, no, as I said, I knew I had to be patient, so I just stayed calm and uh, let her swim her race and not let her get too far away. Um, she's tough. Um, she's a great competitor, and she definitely had a great week of swimming, and I know she's, um, she's going to continue it, and she's been a great distance swimmer for many, many years, and um, she's, she's a great person, and she's a lot of fun to compete against. No more questions? Thanks a lot and congratulations again, Katie, Thank for you. your world record and for this beyond victory in the 800. Thank you.